Hello guys, Victor Axelsen here, and welcome to this sort of mini-series of two episodes from the All England 2019. I was lucky to have Klaus from the company film and of course Sean Casey with me the whole week. This first one is for my first three days at the All England 2019 and the last episode will include the last two days including my final against Kendo Momoda. If my match is in the evening as it was here on day one, we usually get up at around 8.30 and have our breakfast right away. Good morning guys, uh, time is 8.30 um, and I'm having my breath, uh, breakfast right now. Um, eggs and um, some berries and um, some coffee and then uh, we're ready to sort of do the preparation ritual before my matches so um, all good for me. As you can see, I met with some of the guys who are responsible for the World Tour Finals in Changzhou. We had a short talk, I got a chance to speak a little bit of Chinese, to take a few pictures. After breakfast, we do some soft tissue massage at the hotel room, lasting about an hour or so. If I'm not feeling 110% flexible, it's really easy for me to get injuries. Whenever it's possible, we try to stay at a hotel which is within walking distance of the venue. And as you can see here, I met a lot of fans there, which is always really nice. And I make sure to spend a minute or two taking selfies and writing autographs. In the first round, I was up against Samir Uwerma from India. Samir is a tricky opponent and in the first two sets, he made it hard for me, playing with good deceptions. While I was a little bit slow coming out the block, I was a little bit surprised how fast the shuttles actually were here on day one and I had to sort of change a few things. I stepped up on the front court, especially in the second set, which gave me some more attacking opportunities. I was really happy to, to play well and it gave me confidence to win the third game. You know, the best players want to use the best products. We believe that Yonex is the best and I'm sure Victor agrees. Victor's really important. You know, he speaks Chinese. He obviously is very good for us in the European market being a Danish player. So that's really important for Yonex that he covers the whole world with his, you know, with his presence and his marketability. Victor endorses and uses the Jura Z Strike. It's a head heavy racket that is a very powerful racket. He won the world championships with it in Glasgow. He's very confident with this racket and it gives him, you know, the confidence to win on court. After my first round, I met a lot of young fans who was waiting for me after the match. I remember when I was just a young kid going to Denmark Open or whatever, trying to get autographs from the best players in the world. Hey, this is Sean Casey and I'm Victor Axelson's physical coach. We have a lot of very specific routines that we have found to greatly impact Victor's performance on the court. Our stability sessions not only challenge Victor's movement while moving front and back, but also side to side as well as rotational movements. These exercises will make a difference for you. There is always a warm up court just next to the main arena. My warm up is starting out with some different dynamic stretches and some running, some different exercises before I'm going on court. We try to have fun, we play some net games, we play some box games and then I do a few exercises to sort of make sure that I've hit every shot I have to use in the match. My second round, I was up against Lu Guanzhou from China. This was my first time playing against him. It's always a different experience playing an opponent for the first time. Lou is a really uh, aggressive player and it was important for me to sort of see if I could get the initiative. I think that I managed quite well to step up after a slow start in the first game. I think that we will see more from Lou in the future. He's jumping up on the rankings and uh, I'll be prepared for that. Now it's time to hear what Toshi-san from Yonix has to say about me. I hope it's good things. As you know, right, you know, everyone loves Victor because of his personality, the, the way he play on the court. He's like a real gentleman. So for the equipment wise, his right foot is bigger than the left foot. So his right foot, as long as I remember, is 31 centimeter and his left one is 30 centimeter. So I have to arrange, you know, something special for him. He's really like a very sensitive with the equipment. So we have to prepare, you know, exactly like the same weight and the same weight balance of the racket. It is something, you know, Yonex only can do, as long as I believe. 
。但在以前，我当然看了很多呃他的比赛。I always try to do my best in the media zone because I know how important it is to our sport and of course to me personally that we give good interviews and we make sure that we help the journalist do the best coverage of our sport possible. After my second round I went to see the physio and our good friend Michael Ries at another player hotel. As you can see, the weather wasn't really the best.、Uh, actually, it was raining almost the whole week. We were in Birmingham, so hopefully the sun will be shining a little bit more next year. The treatment at Michael's is usually a mixture of a little bit of massage, especially on my calves, but also quite a bit of manipulation, especially of my ankles. I really appreciate his work. He's a big help for me when we're on the road. It's Friday now, and I'm up against Jan Jørgensen from Denmark. Obviously, we know each other really well.、Uh, we've been practicing together for many years. We know each other's strengths and weaknesses. I was a little bit nervous going into it because I've never been further than than a quarterfinal at the All England, and I really wanted to to see if I could save myself a spot in the semi-finals. As you can see here, after the match, I was pretty happy to win the match, and you know, my first time being in the semi-final, so I was definitely pleased with it. It's always、uh, really tough to play your teammate, as you know each other really well. That's also why we decided to to change shirts in the end. It was a really fun match to play, and a match that I will I remember for sure. The most important thing for me was actually to get back to the hotel really quick. I had a lot of blisters, so it was pretty painful after the match. However, it was really great to see a, a small group of some young badminton players and fans. Might be one of them who are standing in the All England final someday. Who knows?